In this video, we are going to talk about the topic of reverse prompt engineering to deepen your understanding and your AI's understanding about different topics, especially in our case of marketing, copywriting, writing uh, texts for, for emails, for ads, for landing pages and all that. So let's get right into it. Here I have a completely new, fresh, unprimed ChatGPT4 conversation. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do and how I do it to prime it in the exact way that I, that I need it and in what context I'm going to use uh, reverse prompt engineering, which is what this whole experiment here is all about. And to show you all that on a very specific tangible example, I picked the brand which I actually built myself in Germany over the last couple of years to multiple eight figures. And that is the e-commerce brand MySheepy which is actually a pillow invented by a doctor that helps against neck pain, back pain. And yeah, I, I oftentimes, when you have a look at some of the other masterclasses, I really like to use this as an example because it's just such a nice and, and cool example to, to use. And we have different um, websites for it. We have different landing pages. In the end, all you need to know is that it's a, a new innovative pillow developed by a doctor with some institutional research. Like there's a huge, huge um, health concept to it with this uh, adjustable neck roll, this bolster here. And yeah, this is a business that I've built as a, as a CMO and, and co-founder for, for many, many years. And it became highly successful, mainly through Facebook ads and YouTube ads and landing pages and all that stuff I talk about in, in other masterclasses. So here I'm just going to use it as an example for how to use ChatGPT and also the, the topic of reverse prompt engineering. And for that, you can see some of this is in some of this is in German, some of this is in English. We've been only active in Germany with this particular brand, so it would make a lot of sense to now take all that and translate it to English and go to other markets. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new conversation and I'm going to prime it onto the specific task and I'm going to give it all the information uh, of my sheepy from the landing pages, from the website, so that it knows everything it knows to start creating some, some good work in this particular case. And if I would work more often on my sheepy, what I would create is this template where I exactly put all the information about my sheepy into this, into this like briefing template once I've made a whole nother video about the specific briefing template that we basically use uh, for to prime each AI always on the, onto one topic. And yeah, he, I would put in just all the information about my GP, the brand, the founder, the product, the mission, everything. So that is knows um, all the relevant information. But because I don't want to do that right now, I will uh, manually take all the information from the website and the landing page once and feed it into the AI. <laughs> Okay, so this took me quite some time, but what I now did is I had an act as command. I gave ChatGPT the whole MySheepy website. Some of it was in German, some in English, basically just messy context information. I told him to tell me if he understands it and not write, start writing any stuff. Then I gave him another a landing page for the specific Easter campaign that's running right now. And I told him from all your information, summarize and list all the relevant marketing information about my sheepy that will be needed in the future for creating ads, email, all that stuff. So this is basically what he did. And this is now, now this kind of information is um, what I would kind of want to use in one of these um, template briefings if I would want to copy the whole priming and uh, make it available for future conversations. Um, yeah, what I also did is I just copy pasted a whole Google Docs where we had some existing German ads that were already quite good. You see, this is like the Facebook ad um, style here. And I just gave these existing ads to um, ChatGPT as a style and tone briefing. And here you don't even need existing my sheepy ads. You can just use any ads for any product and you tell them, Hey, look, I found another product where I really like the style of these ads. Now take this style and apply it to the my sheepy information that you got. 
And yeah, I then told him, write for me three great Facebook ads for my sheepy in English. And yeah, to insert links if necessary. And it came up with some first ads that were kind of okay-ish. I improved them a bit through some, some feedback iterations and uh, I tell them to not use this specific word to describe the pillow. Then I told them to not, this, not use this word either. While doing that, I always had a Google Docs document open to uh, improve the text, change up some stuff, and then giving this, my improved text, back to ChatGPT. And then I always tell them, hey, this is the best text so far with my improved iterations on it. Now write 10 headlines similar to the style. I gave him three of my own headlines in the specific style. And I told him, especially for the headlines, focus on the hype, the trend, spark FOMO, emotional desire, while still delivering trust and authority. And this is what he gave to me. I now put all that into my Google Docs. And this is, I as a, as a master copywriter with, with seven years of experience in this field and writing um, highly successful million dollar ads myself, I can confidently say that this is really, really good stuff. This is amazing, high quality copywriting that I could implement right now into Facebook Ads Manager. Um, I can use a lot of that stuff even for, for, for other formats, even potentially use some of the copywriting in, in landing pages, obviously for email or for any other um, performance ad channel or even organic posts and all that. And what we now have is we have a really, really good ad. And the topic of this video, if you still remember, is reverse prompt engineering, which means what I want to create is I want to craft a prompt that creates this new just from a single prompt or as few prompts as, poss as possible. Now, the problem is if I take all that to the existing conversation and I tell them, hey, take this and write prompts so that another AI or a new conversation could recreate this. And then it gives me the prompts. If I put in these prompts into my existing conversation, well, there's so much more priming. There's all this history, there's all the data. And for me, I don't know if the AI is now really coming up with new stuff on its own due to these new prompts, or if it just copy pastes what it had already uh, delivered, where I have already given uh, very, very good feedback and iterations, and then I don't really know how to evaluate this. So the best thing that, that we can do is we take this primed AI and we tell him, hey, give me the perfect prompt to recreate this ad, potentially in the future on the unframed AI, by also give me all the information I need as priming, which is kind of similar to the whole priming uh, briefing template that we already discussed, so that I can just copy paste it into a new conversation and see what I get out of it. And that's what I'm going to try to do now. Okay, so I told him here, this is the perfect Facebook ad. Here are amazing headlines, which I really like. Here's a main body text, which I really like. Now act as the most genius prompt engineer. I want you to create a prompt that I can copy paste into unprimed future conversations with ChatGPT to come up with the same result. And now it's starting to, to write these prompts and for the, from the first prompt, it immediately took the whole, um, <laughs> the headlines and the whole text as inspiration, which is exactly what I didn't want because then I again don't know how much future ChatGPT is creating on its own and not taking copy paste from this. So, but you can see that the more existing really good creations you give into it, the better your output will be. Now I give it the challenge to don't use all that existing text and actually only describe um, all the necessary mm, data about this specific text without giving the whole thing away. Yeah, don't give out the whole example, give information. Now it's improving that, I give feedback, input more necessary information about the social proof authority numbers of successes of my sheepy in that prompt. Then I ask him, 
what would be other metrics and parameters that could be added to improve the final result and gave me a really interesting list that makes a lot of sense from a marketing perspective add testimonials add the awards add uh, more data how it uh, compares to other pillows show the return on invest for the customer of the pillow give limited time offers give a money back guarantee share the impact uh, pr press media coverage ugc and partnerships and now this is actually very very interesting because usually it would be my job to create all this information for example that um, ChatGPT doesn't know this information shows to me that in my existing putting in the website and the landing page and the existing ads as briefing um, some things were missing for example maybe there were at no point in this whole conversation was mentioned that my GP was uh, on, on famous uh, TV shows or in uh, famous magazines so I should add that what I now did is I told ChatGPT to provide this information for me and see what it really knows because I can already feel that uh, he can he will yeah just imagine stuff to be true but that was never really the case so for example the additional information testimonials I haven't sleep that well in years the Mashibi pillar has completely changed my life from a doctor Jane Smith sleep expert this is a complete imagination this never happened there is no dr jane smith sleep expert in relation to my sheepy and here you can also see that <laughs> my sheepy has been awarded the prestigious ergo sleep certification which also doesn't exist so but you can see that imagine you have another prestige certification like we have the igr award or the uh, 2021 or 2022 whatever design awards for health innovations so you could put these in here and just by reading this you can see that if you have more true information now you can basically rotate out this and this and yeah if you made a study that it improves it 35 percent if you made a real study that it shows that it improves sleep 50 60 whatever percent then you put in the real numbers here and so what i could do is i take all this stuff here and make it true with the existing information about my sheepy that really happened not some like fake imagined sleep experts but some real sleep experts that I have made quotes on my sheepy and I take this stuff now and I now go back into my google docs and I craft the whole new prompt with all this information and I keep the fake information now to see what um what future GPT will take from it now I also told him to add uh, the perfect act as command for future GPT uh, conversations to improve results and it gave me this act as command. I took this act as command in my separate Google Docs and I crafted the perfect new prompt for future GPT conversations, which is act as, do this, here's background information, here are uh, three example headlines as inspiration, which is allowed because that's not too much work, but writing a whole text as an example is too much work for us. Here it basically gave itself this style tone briefing of asking questions about common sleep problems in the start of the Facebook ad. Here are more information potentially used. Now I take this whole stuff, make copy paste, go into a new conversation, put to ChatGPT4 and I just put it here and see what I get. new ChatGPT conversation gave me a first output which i don't really like for example here in the main body text we don't it's it's way too long it's i don't really i'm not impressed by this most of these headlines as well some are okay but they all feel very generic like a like an ai wrote this <laughs> without knowing like unique deep insights about my sheepy and that's actually exactly the difference between this unprimed, unprimed AI and the existing primed AI and yeah I'm, I'm not really impressed by this first output so what I did is I told him here is a much better result you could have given to me and I show him the initial 
um, 10 headlines and the initial main body text, which I was really proud of and really happy with. And I asked him, what would I have to change about the initial prompt so that you could have given me a better result closer to this one? And it, it tells me exactly what it kind of lacked. I apologize for not providing the perfect output. You should have, I could have changed the act as command, make it shorter, craft one main body text and 10 alternatives, which is exactly what was provided. Um, introducing my sheepy pillow benefits. And here, this is, this is interesting that it gives, um, keywords and yeah, more uh, examples for style. Like the headlines should use powerful attention grabbing words and phrases such as revolutionize, raving, game changing, pillow perfection. Make sure the ad copy highlights this credib credibility, value, and benefits of my sheepy, encouraging users to join my sheepy family, wake up feeling refreshed. And I then told him to incorporate all this into a new copy pasteable GPT, future GPT uh, prompt, which is now created here. So I'm taking this, going to a new conversation. ChatGPT4 and I put it in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I I, I don't want to really uh, go over the headlines too much. They are okay. It's nice. It's good. I think some of them are some of them are really usable. At least we have some more of this like hype language to it. But I just want to show you the difference between this text and the initial text. The initial text was well formatted with good lines with kind of bullet point style um, format with the link with call to action with everything and I really like this Facebook ad as a main body text. This is just a huge mess with everything put into one text here with no formatting with no bullet points nothing like this so that you can see the new unprimed AI was not able to recreate the specific style. And one last attempt that I would do now is I take, I mean, because I don't want to provide this specific ad to, <laughs> to the AI, what I could try is I could take a different ad for a different product, which has this style but not the my sheepy information in it. And then I use it as a style inspiration while keeping the my sheepy context. Because I think in terms of knowing what my sheepy is, this information is quite good, but the output is just not in the right format. Okay, so what I now did is I crafted from the my sheepy text, I crafted a example Facebook ad for the brand Athletic Greens which is a supplement brand you might know. And now I can take this as a format, give it to ChatGPT as style tone briefing while keeping the MyShipy informational context. Okay, so I now take the whole same prompt with all the information about MyShipy. I tell him to look at this format, which is an Athletic Greens sample ad in the same format that I like, especially for Facebook ads. And now tell them, this is a great format, write the body text for my sheepy ad closer to this format. Okay, and now I get at least something that looks like the first ad. And I think this is quite a fine result. Are sleepless nights taking a toll on your health and happiness? So it starts with like three pain questions. Introduce my sheepy, which is nice. Uh, as a like transfer, uh, emotional transfer sentence from pain to pleasure using the authority designed by doctors, backed by years of research, use peace and features, 100,000 certified customers worldwide, amazing emotional status authority testimonial stuff, CTA and a link, which is now quite the good style for the main body text and now the headlines which unfortunately don't have an emoji but it's okay some of them some of them are really nice but again you get this feeling that they were written with too little information about my gp 
join the sleep revolution and discover the game changing game changing my sheepy pillow today this is okay yeah i see it's a pillow but say goodbye to discomfort and hello to pillow perfection with my sheepy i think the main information that this fully fresh new conversation knows is um, that it's a pillow and this all these results would be highly improved if you start out this new conversation with a fully comprehensive briefing template of um, of the Mashibi brand just as I have shown here in the briefing template video where you give it all the background information about the brand about the founders team behind it about uh, the company's mission all the stuff which can then be used as background information and briefing also target audience were not really mentioned of course helping against pain but uh, apart from that demographics usps pain points of the audience if you had given this full briefing template as uh, for this for the start of this beginning new conversation the results would have just been so so much better overall i'm quite proud with what we achieved here um, i think this shows that reverse prompt engineering just from the fact that you put in some desired result that you want for example a really good ad a really good mail a really good landing page or a really good whatever funnel business strategy or a product idea and just by letting jet gpt come up with a prompt to try to recreate that for future GPT conversations, it does work without the briefing template. We need the briefing template, and if we have that, the results are just so much better. I think that concludes the general idea of reverse prompt engineering, at least in our case. I think it's a very, very funny thing, and I really like any sort of processes or um, little hacks and improvements that just overall improve the workflow and efficiency and uh, quality of output. And in the next video, I'm going to tell you about another thing which is kind of related, and that is task de deconstruction for better results.